Hey everyone, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. Alright, so I hope you guys are doing good tonight or, well, it's nighttime for me, but maybe daytime or nighttime for you, wherever you are. But let's go ahead and let's get started on your reading. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Tell me about Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We got pathway coming up. We got courthouse. And we got wealthy man. I'm seeing some sort of transformation take place, cancers. Some sort of new start. It's around the, we got the lovers coming in. That's the under our energy. So I feel like you're about to undergo some sort of transformation when it comes to your love life. I'm also seeing here something going on when it comes to some sort of legal matter or some sort of institution, a business. But there are some documents here in this person's hands. And then at the end we have here a wealthy man. This could be a businessman. Or someone that's good with um, their finances. Um, this could be someone that's a hard worker, career oriented, whether that's you or someone that you're dealing with. But let me um, let me pull a card for each one of these. Spirit, tell me about this transformation. There's something new, a new beginning that um, you're about to embark on. A new chapter in your life. And this feels like a good transformation. Some of you may be undergoing a spiritual transformation as well. Yeah, here comes the Queen of Swords. This is you. You're the one that's transforming. Uh, the thing with this, oh, look at here. The Ace of Cups is in reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. And look, we got lovers right here. The Queen of Swords is not someone that wears her heart on her sleeve. Hmm. She's actually um, detached. Very logical. And that's why I feel like you're in that, you're transforming. You're going into that energy, that Queen of Swords energy. Where you're not wearing your heart on your sleeve. You may even be feeling okay. Um, about being single some of you may be divorced maybe you got out of something or you're just not interested in love right now so the transformation and this new this new beginning has to do with your mind there's something being renewed in your mind but it feels like a tug of war because I feel like spirit has um, something that they a way that they want you to think and view things, but then you have your own way that you want to think or view things. So it's kind of like this tug of war energy that I'm feeling. Because it feels like I don't know, something is off. Having to explain yourself is what I'm getting here. Explaining your viewpoint around love. Because it's not the same anymore. Let me see what's going on with you. Um oh, let me see. Spirit, tell me more about this Queen of Swords energy with Cancers. Because it feels like experience. And because of what you've experienced, you're now feeling like... It just it feels like don't believe in love. Don't believe in love anymore. And that's what I'm saying. I feel like that's not what Spirit is wanting you to believe. Tell me about this Queen of Swords energy. Compassionate. Oh, that's what you're thinking. And look at here. Embarrassed. I feel like that's what I'm saying here. You may have felt, felt like you've been too kind to people. Empathetic. Caring. Because the Queen of Swords is, is she can be empathetic. But again, the thing about it with that energy, the, the compassion is typically that for my Queen of Cups. The Queen of Swords is like she's going to put herself first. Whereas the Queen of Cups will be more willing to sacrifice her, her feelings for those that she loves. But the Queen of Swords isn't. 
because she's probably been through that queen of cups where she did sacrifice herself for those that she loved. And now in this queen of swords energy, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not being compassionate. I'm not being empathetic. I'm not being caring. I'm going to treat you how you treat me. Hmm. That's what I'm getting here. It's like no more. Because it looks like here you come in. Because it looks like you pick, you may attract the broken. You may attract those that are in need of healing. And you, and you are just so welcoming and have these open arms for them. And it's like, you're like, no, not no more. Some of you may even be explaining this to spirit. Maybe you've been praying or talking to whatever higher power that you believe in. And, you know, because it feels like presenting your side. Or you could be talking to a friend. Because that's what I'm getting here is something about someone speaking and saying, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not going to be compassionate. Because I've gotten my heart broken when I've done that. So I feel like there's some sort of transformation that's taking place when it comes to your mind. But again, I feel like there's something. Uh, it's, it feels like that's not how spirit wants you to see it. Let me see exactly how spirit wants you to see this. Um, let's use trust. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The deck that I grabbed, it says trust. Love is in the air, but you may have, but you must have enough courage to trust and look past what you've been through. He will not lead you astray. That's God. That's exactly what I'm talking about. See, that's what I'm saying. The queen of swords has been through it all. And it's like she's been in that queen of cups energy. She's been loving and compassionate. And because of what she's experienced and what she's been through, she's like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not. And it feels like having to explain yourself, maybe again, to spirit, to a friend or someone. But that's what I feel like spirit is saying. I want you to trust me for what's at the end of this tunnel. I want you to surrender. Because the Queen of Swords can have a hard time surrendering. She does like to be in control. The Queen of Swords likes to be in control. And she thinks she knows what's best. But with this particular situation, she is very intelligent and very smart. Spirit saying you cannot lean on your own understanding in this particular situation. You're being asked to trust. See, friendship. I feel like someone has, ta has talked to a friend about their love life and what they've been through. Yeah, see, be vulnerable. Yeah, you're going to have to be vulnerable. And that is something that's very hard for the Queen of Swords because she's been hurt multiple times. She didn't get here with just one situation. She's at this point where she's now fed up or he. I mean, you know, I'm just saying she because she is the Queen of Swords. But you can be um, a male in that energy as well. Spirit, what do you want Cancers to know? Oh, look, I like this. Listen to this, guys. Listen to this. Look ahead. It says, leave the past where it belongs. Look forward. Didn't I say at the end of the tunnel? Look forward to what's coming next. Something better is waiting for you. I promise you. That is what spirit wants you to know. It says, see, she's looking back. And the Queen of Swords is in that energy of where she is using what she's been through that is dictating her thinking. What she's been through is what is creating this new thinking. And Spirit saying, no, you have to look beyond what you've been through. I want you to look forward because what's ahead of you is greater than what was behind you. And look. The next card, answer the call. You got a love offer. Look at that. It says, when he calls or when she calls, answer the call. Don't let pride, because the Queen of Swords can be prideful and stubborn. Again, set in her ways, right? It says, don't let pride keep your love broken when your heart wants to fix it. See, she's about morals. 
standards, boundaries. But that's not what is needed for this particular situation. Yes, have your standards and have your boundaries. This is not saying let someone walk over you. But this particular situation for whoever this reading is, in this reading for whoever this group is for, Spirit is saying that's not needed in this particular situation. It's saying answer the call and don't let your pride, because your heart is saying one thing. But your head is thinking of doing another thing. Your heart wants to fix it. It says they might be worth a second chance. Answer the call. They might be worth a second chance. And it's a love offer. A new love offer is on the horizon. This says a new love offer. Didn't say a new person. For some of you, maybe it is. But this is saying a new love offer is on the horizon. Again, what's ahead of you? Is better. This love offer is going to be better. Keep an open mind. It's the see, keep an open mind. She could be very narrow minded, tunnel vision, set in her ways, right? It says it's the only way you can explore, create, and grow. Progress is impossible without change. Progress is impossible without change. Didn't I say set in her ways? So that's what's coming up. This is what this new pathway is about. This is a love offer coming your way. And Spirit is saying, get out of your head. This is not, this is not what this um, situation is about for whoever this reading is for. This is not about making a head over heart. It's about being more so balanced, combining the two. Being open-minded, not closed-minded. You can still be caring, but still also judge the situation too. But I feel like for this group, what's better, I mean, what's ahead is going to be better for you. But let's go ahead and um, move on to the courthouse. What is that situation about? Spirit, tell me about this courthouse for Cancers. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. What is this courthouse? Paperwork, institution. What is this about? Okay, so we have here a couple. What is this about with you two? And then with the courthouse, a couple with doing something as it pertains to some sort of institution. This could, I, some sort of legal matter. Tell me more about this couple. Someone is, um, oh, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Someone is breaking free. There could be some sort of court case. Someone could be filing paperwork, filing documents to break free from a relationship. Tell me more about this situation. We got mature man, and then this shows concern. This may have something to do with a third party with the three, three, and three right there. I'm getting here, there could be something going on with a lawyer. But this feels more so like whoever this, this feels like um, another person, this mature man that's coming through. And then this person is concerned. I'm picking up one and then two and then three. I feel like someone is concerned about this queen of pentacles, but it seems to be around wealth. It seems to be around money and something being revealed with the ace of swords. That's going to change everything. Let me see what this is about. This seems to be a little bit, there needs to be a little bit more digging right here from what I'm gathering. 
because I feel like there's some sort of paperwork that's going to be revealed because I feel like someone is being greedy. Let me see what this is about, Spirit. What is this courthouse situation about that has this person concerned? This, yeah, I see trusting spirit. Someone may be very religious, or if not religious, spiritual, because they're trusting spirit. They're, I feel like they're concerned because they're having to leave it in the hands of spirit. This is not you. This feels like someone else. Going through some sort of court. This could be a lawsuit. But it feels like with a, a, a couple going through this. Yeah, see, a commitment in reverse. See, this was someone that was married or in a relationship. Somebody could be going through a divorce. But it feels, um, feels like it's more than just that, though. Somebody may also have a lawsuit pending. Uh-oh. Why is this card right there? All right, tell me more about this situation because it feels a little bit deeper. So let me get into this. Divine Mass. And see, I told you this wasn't about you. This was about uh, this is about a, the um, person that I feel like is looking to call you. And I feel like they have um, some sort of lawyer or this could be a friend. This could be a mentor. But there's another person that is very mature and knowledgeable that I feel like is helping them through some sort of conflict. Need a job. I feel like the, I feel like they're concerned that they're going to have to support someone with the queen of pentacles in reverse and then needing a job. They're concerned because this person is wealthy. But I'm telling you guys, something is being, something is going to be revealed. Because look at here, snooping through emails. Something is to be revealed. Can you tell us what's going to be revealed? Again, we've seen this before. Arrested. Jail time. Somebody may be there. This could be whatever this situation is. It could have something to do with maybe pressing charges. Uh, someone do this is about money. I feel like whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, and maybe your person is attached to it, it's like they may be going to court, not just about them being financially responsible because it feels like more than one thing. I Meaning, it doesn't just feel like a couple that's breaking up or going through a divorce, and that's what I say. It feels like there's some other legal matter that's going on that can land someone in jail. Hmm. And I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is also concerned. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. This feels like a karmic energy. So it's like the other person that they're going up against. Rather it's a significant other or an ex-co-worker or an ex-friend. Uh, we got here loyal. We got here loyal with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Now, how is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse loyal? I don't feel like that's the case. I don't feel like this is someone that's actually loyal. I feel like if anything, because the King of Wands is showing upright, I feel like that's who's been loyal to the Queen of Pentacles. And they may be caught up in something. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Something isn't right. Ghosted, blocked, cut off. The Queen of Pentacles. That's what I'm saying. I don't feel like the Queen of Pentacles was loyal. I feel like your person was loyal to this Queen of Pentacles. And they got ghosted and cut off. And now I'm seeing here other men. And then I'm seeing here bills. They must have ghosted and cut your person off because they were talking to another person. And left them with some sort of bill, some sort of debt. They could have been gambling, doing something, because it says school, it says learning. I don't know. It feels like here, 
let me see something. There is something wrong with this Queen of Pentacles. And for some reason, it's coming up really slow. Spirit, what's up with this Queen of Pentacles? Tell us what's going on here. Because it looks like bills have piled up. We see it right here. Bills have piled up. Tell me, I want to know about this Queen of Pentacles. Something isn't right. Look, see, rich woman. I feel like your person is the wealthy person. And they are trying to come up off of this wealthy man. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Something isn't right. It looks like they were cheating or they were dealing with some other man. It's, it's, they're attached to someone else. family look see I told you third party I told you guys attached to someone else hmm and then we got family coming in self-employment I told you they were doing something But I feel like whatever it is that they were doing with this self-employment, I don't feel like it was legal. I feel like they were doing something slick. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. We got a proposal. And see, look at here, legal, court, paperwork filed. What is going on with this person? And look, there. this is a prison. Something is going on here. I feel like this King of Wands was under the influence because I don't feel like they were married. For some of them, that could have been the case. But this is not the match. This, this King of Wands is not the King of Pentacles. So it feels like they could have been like dating, but the King of Wands was more into the Queen of Pentacles. So much so they were going to propose and even introducing them to the family, to the kids, and vice versa. But the whole time, this Queen of Pentacles had another person that they were linked up to. And the other person that they were linked up to could have been someone that was in jail in the meantime. But I feel like they, this Queen of Pentacles is shady. Yeah, see here, look, attraction. I feel like they were leading this King of Wands on. That's what I'm getting here. They were leading them on. And I feel like this King of Wands was ready to propose. See, look at here, longing. That's that King of Wands. I feel like this King of Wands was really into this Queen of Pentacles. But the Queen of Pentacles only saw money. And for some reason, I feel like when the stuff hit the fan, I feel like this King of Wands probably flipped out. It's, it's giving me like, uh, what do you call that, guys? When you, uh, it's like they may have figured it out or find every found out what happened and it feels like confronting and you know laying hands if it, it feels like something became physical tell me about this king of wands yep, we got here that yeah the queen of pentacles started to give them the silent treatment started to ignore them see why aren't you picking up the phone the queen of pentacles was ignoring them because they were linked up to another person Tell me about this King of Wands. Escapist. Running. Unsta I told you, unstable. They did something. Yep, they may have to go to court. I feel I told you this King of Wands did something that night. They did something, guys. They were unstable and they did something. I don't know because they because the um, Queen of Pentacles wasn't picking up the phone, wasn't answering them because they were like remember ghosted, blocked, cut off. They cut this King of Wands off, and the King of Wands like, why aren't you picking up the phone? And I feel like, I told you, I feel like they went to that um, Queen of Pentacles home, unstable, and did something and took off. And I feel like the police had to get involved. 
see legal court arrested jail time the police had to get involved lovers quarrel they were concerned they got a case about this and i feel like they were uh, they were financially providing for this queen of pentacles mm. all right let's see what else is coming in for this king of wands and then i'm gonna pull for the queen of pentacles See, they were fixated, obsessed. And look, see, look, third party. Shh. See, the Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles was telling the other person, shh, be quiet. I'm just using this King of Wands to pay my bills. To pay my bills. They saw this King of Wands as a sucker. They got even, some of them even got a proposal or a promise ring. This King of Wands was fixated on this Queen of Pentacles. But the Queen of Pentacles was having an affair. It says it right here. Affair. Influence. Temptation. Oh, sorry. And didn't I tell you, um, didn't I say I felt something around religion? It says here, forbidden, conflict, denounce. I thought I said I felt something. I'm, now I'm starting to wonder, did I say it or was I just thinking it? Because I'm trying to figure out what was going on when I felt that religious energy. But then I'm wondering if I didn't say it. Either way, this King of Wands is coming across as religious, which is probably why they proposed. Because this is not, the King of Wands is not someone, and this energy coming through, they were ready to settle down with this Queen of Pentacles that was using them. That's why they proposed to them, Two of Cups. But now they're going through some sort of court case. And remember we saw concern? This King of Wands is concerned because they did do something. But so did the Queen of Pentacles. I told you, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles got some sort of shady um, job or side hustle. And I feel like they were dealing with someone else that's shady too. Okay. And yeah, the King of Wands is wealthy. This is all centered around some sort of lover's quarrel. I want to see what happened with you. How How is this coming in as it pertains to you? With this King of Wands. That could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, we got Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Just about, right? Tell me more about this King of Wands when it comes to cancers now because they were fixated on another person. But I don't feel like this was at the same time. I felt like we're getting um, a back, we're getting the backstory of something that they had went through that may be still affecting them now because it looks like they have to go through some sort of court case. This is, this is what it was with you, confused. Couldn't see it. They could not see it when it came to you. There was something that was not clear to them. Hmm. They were confused. They couldn't tell if you were genuine or if you were fake. Is this the real thing? They didn't know. Yep, yeah, look at here. Because they couldn't tell, they walked away. They walked away. Seven cups, here comes the eight cups. It's like, I can't tell. I can't tell if you're the real deal or not. And because I can't tell, I just give up. Look, here comes a tower moment. What is this tower moment about? Oh, this is spirit. This is spirit. What is it? Because didn't I tell you with this ace of swords? something being revealed a truth coming out that's going to change everything spirit what is this truth that's going to come out the knight of cups this is there's something spirit is going to do to the both of you for the both of you because there's two people here because remember you were resisting it too with the strength card you were trying to be strong both of you both of you were trying to resist each other but some sort of tower is going to happen 
with this Knight of Cups. I need to know more about this tower. I mean, associated with this Knight of Cups. Let me see. Um, hmm. What's, what's going to happen with this Knight of Cups? A shocking, some sort of shocking gesture. Spirit, tell me about this. Oh, look at this. The Knight of Cups would definitely be given a gift. Surprise, tower, surprise. Here's a gift, something you've been wanting and waiting for. Didn't I tell you locked up? I told you this person, I feel like the person that's going to be um, coming your way, I feel like they got some sort of record or some sort of case because of who they were dealing with. Tell me about this situation here. Sneaky Link, I'm passionate about you. It's exciting when I'm with you. Fall season. Fall season. This is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. You are mine. So for those of you where you may have already went through the fall season, because I know in certain places um, the seasons are different, that will be within the next two months, if I'm not mistaken, from when you watch this. And for those of you that are had the fall season haven't happened, then you know that's going to be within the next two months, though. But, uh... Why is it saying sneaky? Why do they have to sneak to see you? Maybe. You don't know. Very soon. Getting engaged. I want to marry you. You are my world and I'm forever yours. And you say, I don't know. Unsure. They're coming in with a proposal of some sort to you. I told you this person is, is marriage material. They're traditional. If they were sleeping around, that's not true to their um, their na their character, though. That's not something that um, they're really about. This person, when they love, they love hard. And so I feel like they're coming to you with this proposal. And you may be feeling uncertain about it. That's why it's going to be a tower moment. I don't understand why this is sneaky, though. I need to understand wh wh why do they have to sneak to do this? Or what's the sneaky energy that I'm feeling? There's something sneaky about the proposal. Like, not sneaky as in deceptive, but keeping quiet about it. This may be someone that's a father. Or they may have kids. We got father figure coming in. So maybe it says caring. I told you this, per this person, it says caring, compassionate, loving, empathetic, forgiving, and psychic. Whoever this person is. And it says here forever love. A homebody. So I feel like keeping it quiet until... Until this situation. Because it says here. Confused. Already involved. I feel like this is not confusion about, about being with you. But confused about their um, this case. That's why we saw concern. We saw concern for this person. Remember? Let me show you. Concern. Right? So this is what I feel like is going on. That's why they feel like I need to keep you. Whatever it is that's going on between the two of you. And getting engaged. Um, or this proposal keep it quiet like not if this is someone that's a father it's like not even telling the family not telling their kids um i feel like sneaking around with you until this case situation is cleared up see homebody meeting up with you in secrecy staying in the home connecting with one another just the two this feels like just the two of you even right here see fall season and this person cooking this, this is someone that likes to cook. They're making pancakes. So this, there may be something significant about pancakes for someone. Maybe, uh, and again, cooking. Mm. And I'm also getting here travel. It may, I'm also picking up some sort of energy around traveling somewhere. Like some sort of remote forest type of place. You guys may be going in the fall season. 
Anything else about this situation? A great for look, see theft. I told you. See, this person has a great fortune, and that Queen of Pentacles tried to steal from them. Tried to steal from them. That and that's that too. That's too why they caught a case because it's like, wait a minute. You want to ignore, see, and look, and just as I said that, if you guys look, the prison, the prison card showed up. Rewind the video, like when I started to, um, where is that? Like that prison card showed up. Where did it go? So that, yeah, see, this card showed up. When I was going like this, it came up. It came up. Something to do with prison because somebody stole from them. There could, and again, a man was involved in this also. But the truth is going to come out. That's why they're trusting spirit and maybe even pray about the situation. Because there's the threes. Tell me more about this, uh, what's going to be revealed. Something about this court case. Is going to get revealed. That's what I'm seeing here, guys. Something about this court case. Yep, see, here it is right here. The judge is looking at her, not believing her. So, there's something that's going to be revealed. That's going to protect their fortune, protect their wealth. That's why theft was in reverse. Yeah, yeah see, lovers... They're a setup, multiple lovers involved and some sort of setup. All right. So that's going to conclude our reading. I wish you guys the best. Bye.